city on me, Bojiato, skinny, cheap and bubble gum. All right, what's going on, y'all? Today's topic is PWM voltage controllers. Pulse with modulated voltage controller. Um, basically, if you have an aftermarket out. It also works with factory ones. And this definitely applies to people with PCM controlled alts. You know, these things definitely do a lot with fuel economy, um, just engine loads, all that stuff. And um, we upgrade our alt, but it's still controlled by the computer and computer's telling it, hey, everything is fine, so. But right here is the plug for the PWM controller. It plugs into your alternator on the pigtail. This is the hidden plug. You plug your factory alternator into it. I mean, your factory um, plug into it, your factory alternator plug into it. And that'll keep your battery life from coming on. And then there's one more wire in it. And that's basically the, um, the control wire. That wire is, I had to make it a little longer, but that wire is the black wire coming off. Um, I just extended it. So basically, the black wire coming off your plug runs over to your voltage controller. Then um, the red wire goes to your ignition source. Now you can hit your steering column or you can hit your fuse box, you know, do an adder circuit, which um, didn't work out too well for me. You know, one of these here, I highly suggest fusing that. Um, you don't want to have all the current going into your, into your car, so. And then from there, you would uh, set your frequency to whatever your car spec is. I got mine kind of wedged in, and at the bottom, you got ground, ignition, and your your source wire going to your all. Just kind of cut this ABS plastic case to to house it, and it should slide in temporary. It's my little temporary bracket right, right here. Right here is your frequency. Um, I really don't feel like messing with it right now because everything is set. But you can, with GM cars, it's usually 120 hertz. Um, it'll tell you in the instruction manual what to set your frequency at. If you're not at shows, I highly suggest, if you're not demoing or you're not at shows, I believe that when you hook this up, your alternator's running all the time. It doesn't have, you know, no on-off. It's just constantly on, you know, from my experience because I feel the engine loaded all the time. And then, of course, I can turn the the percentage up. And it says in the manual, don't turn it past 90%. That should give you around 15, 15 and a half volts, depending on your system. But uh, the highest I've seen was 15 volts. Uh, so far, I'm really happy with it. It says 75%. 14.4. Let's dial her up to 80. Feel the engine loading itself. Went up a volt, a tenth of a volt. Let's dial her up to 90. That's 90. And I'm showing 14.8. And of course, the batteries is taking that charge. So eventually, the voltage will climb up. I can feel the engine loaded. You can probably hear it. Watch. disconnected when I'm driving you know daily in and then when I'm at shows of course I turn it up but like I said I'm gonna double check my instructions to make sure that you know I was proper with it and of course that's my resting voltage right now key off and of course when the, the key is off that cuts off about to get on in here and get to this food all I can say is of course peace and base <laughs>